Welcome to the video from the dishlifes.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 22523 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And actually the final build of 2021 from Microsoft, so my final build video. A couple things about this build. Um, ARM64 is supported again. It wasn't on the previous one, but it is now. And you can also get an ISO of this build, so you can do a clean install. So what's changed on this build? Well, there's not a huge amount, but one thing I can show you is Alt-Tab has got this uh, Windows 11 style look as opposed to the old one. Now, some insiders have had this on previous builds I have, but um, this is now rolled out to everybody. So you get that sort of curved look with it, like, like you do when you uh, preview a window like that. So that's good to see. Another thing Microsoft added is the um, connect to media server function. So you can connect to a media server on your network, Windows Media Player actually works the media server, and uh, that's now added to there as well. They're doing some changes to control panel to move stuff more to uh, settings, the modern settings. I've been doing this a long time, and this build has a couple more changes on that. So you click on there, uninstall the program. Instead of taking to the old Windows 7 style one, it takes you to settings. Um, and they've also moved cumulative updates on installing from control panel to settings as well. So part of the sort of change to move it to the modern environment. The rest of the changes are just fixes. They've fixed some issues with text input. They've fixed um, issues with the battery icon no longer showing under, over 100%, which is obviously not possible. Fixed some file explorer issues, some uh, spotlight issues. And here's actually the option from the previous build that wasn't available to everybody. You can now have Spotlight in Personalize. Um, so you can have it show the different backgrounds and you get a different one each day and that that kind of thing. So um, that's good to, to see in there. That's from a previous build. Uh, they fixed some widget issues and uh, some doo -doo um crashes. There's still some known issues, not a huge amount, but um, you might not be able to sign in with the feedback hub. You can restart your machine for that. Uh, some insiders have seen firmware updates um, crash the build and they're investigating that and there are some issues with start and taskbar actually the same ones that got on, on previous ones as well so those are the most changes the, the main changes to 22523 got the new alt tab and uh, the control panel removal or um, control panel migration so thanks for watching this video have a great Christmas and New Year. We'll see you in the New Year with new build videos.